Frightening moments for a St. Johns County teen who was mowing lawns in Jacksonville. He was bitten by not one, but two snakes. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel joining us now live with how that teenager is doing tonight and a warning about how common snake bites are this time of year. Corley? The FWC says summertime is when snakes are most likely to be out and bite because their bodies feed off the sun. The teen that was bit says that he was in the hospital for seven hours yesterday and had to go back again for a checkup today. He's doing OK, but doctors say considering the type of snakes that bit him, it could have been worse. Two marks remain on the back of 17 year old Connor Stoll's legs, where he says snakes bit him while mowing a lawn Wednesday morning. I fell to the ground and I went and moved over to our truck and just sat there and tried to stop the bleeding from my leg. Right around this chopped down tree is where Stoll was pushing a lawnmower and where he says two snakes bit him in his calf. Do you know what kind of snakes they were? They're not sure but they suspected some sort of rattlesnake because of how high it bit me up on my leg. The FWC says seven to 8,000 people in the U.S. are bitten by venomous snakes every year. According to the FWC, to avoid snake bites, stay away from walking in tall grassy areas unless you're wearing tall leather boots. Watch out for snakes and don't mess with them because it's a pain and you have a lot to deal with and it hurts a ton and you just don't want to mess with them. Stroll has owned his own lawn service since he was 10 years old. Although he's still recovering, he says the snakes won't keep him from mowing lawns. Fortunately, doctors told Stroll that venom from the snakes never entered his body. For tips on how you can avoid snake bites this summer, you can go to our website at newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.